Hey, what is up? Hashtag Salamance Squad. Uh, special treat video for you. It's probably going to be pretty short, pretty sweet. Not too much going to be going on. However, a uh, new game was released today at the point of recording this. I'm going to try to get this out tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we have Pokemon Shield and Sword, which uh, I guess is taking on of that like English London theme type thing. Uh all we really have so far is the starters and the uh, like logos for the game, which are, of course, a shield and a sword, both with what looks to be wolf-like creatures facing in the opposite direction. It would be interesting if they did it like a lion and a griffin to really match that whole like European-esque or whatever they're going for, like Britain and whatever. I may have that completely wrong. But we do have these starters. And as you can see, the first one we have is Croaky. Uh, I mean, he's cool, and the, let me just go off and say this is based off very minimal research. I cannot stress how minimal this research has been. I haven't really seen much about what they evolve into. I don't. I haven't seen any leaks or anything. I don't really want to spoil that until that's officially released. Um, but yeah, here's what we have so far. When I first saw the trailer, I was a little upset because I feel like they all look very similar in a sense where, I mean, Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle, you know what they are. You know that Pokemon. It's very unique no matter which one it is. These just seem like on first glance, I mean, they kind of could all merge together and you would be like, whatever, I can't even, I, whatever. If that makes sense to some of you, that's great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Uh, but Croaky is a, uh, a monkey, it looks like. It looks like we have a grass monkey. Um, yeah, that's cool, but, I mean, I don't like the monkey, po I've never liked monkey Pokemon, I don't know why, I don't like Ambipom, I don't like Apom, or whatever it's called, I don't like Mankey, I, I, I just don't like the monkey Pokemon, so that's gonna be a fat no from me, um, actually, up until this point, since generation, like, four-ish, I've been choosing all grass Pokemon, so I chose Snivy, uh, Chespin, and Rowlet. So I don't know why I originally started with Fire. The first ever game I played was Leaf Green. Uh, and I chose Charmander because, you know, I'm basic. But from there, it had been uh, Totodile. And then I went Mudkip. And then the first playthrough of Pearl, I did Piplup. And the second playthrough, I did um, Turtwig. Because Gen 4 was the first one where I couldn't really decide between two Pokemon. I loved them all. I loved those two too much. Ever since Charmander, though... Maybe besides Cyndaquil and Torchic, I haven't cared for really any of the fire type starters. I just don't like fire type starters for some reason. So with that being said, I, I guess you can see where I'm going. But Score Bunny, no, that's a fat no for me. Another thing, I hate Bunny Pokemon in this game. I don't know what it is. I just didn't like like Lil Bunny or whatever. I, I don't know. Bunny Pokemon just don't really do it for me. Um, the name's also kind of dumb. Score Bunny, like you couldn't really come up with anything kind of kind of clever it's just literally something to do with fires and score and the bunny um yeah so by process of elimination you can see that this bad boy sobel or sobly i'm gonna call him sobel is going to be my choice most likely depending on what final evolutions look like but based on my track record and based on which pokemon i know i like and dislike based on their animal i'm probably going to go with him i do have a little bit of hesitation with the way he almost is um mudkip-esque in a way like he's got this this top thing up here uh he, he has got like puffy cheeks but they're not like they're not spiked like that but i mean look at that you give him the spikes boom looks like mudkip but he did catch my interest when i was watching through the original trailer and he's the only one that really stood out to me as somebody i would want to play um water has always been my, one of my go-to's as well i mean i think it's been pretty even between water and grass since fire red leaf green for the most part and he's lizard like i think he's a chameleon or something i'm getting more of a reptile reptile vibe reptile amphibian vibe from him not really like a rabbit or a uh, monkey so that's one thing i like he could become like a cool water lizard dragon or something like that so that's one to look out for but he also looks like a chameleon with his tail back here um one thing i actually think is really cute are his hands adorable they look like lego hands because legos people hands are just like that they look like that but stretched out um so it's almost a frogish with how he has his has his fingers like that and uh i can't help but notice he's astonished at everything insert surprise pikachu meme here he is basically the new surprise pikachu meme um but yeah 
based on just looking at them, he's my favorite. And then going into actual gameplay from what it looks like, it's not going to be the Let's Go feature where you see all the Pokemon running around. I do enjoy that for a number of reasons because that made the game way too easy. You did not fight wild Pokemon. It wasn't a challenge to catch wild Pokemon. You just use Pokemon Go, throw, and spin. It's really cool at first, but after a while, you really want to be able to battle them and then throw the Pokeball. And I fingers crossed that's what they're going to do based on the... Uh, based on... The trailer that I saw, it looks like you're going to battle them, get them low, and then you're going to throw the Pokeball as if you were a real trainer, which is going to be a much more immersive experience. It's piggybacking off the Let's Go features that they brought in, and I think that's going to be really cool. Also, going off of that, you're not going to see a bunch of Pokemon in the wild, which brings you back to the aspect of randomly running into something. You're not going to be able to super easy shiny train anymore. Um, and you're not going to be just able to avoid Pokemon that you don't want to catch. Like, I'd see a Geodude or something and let's go, and I'd be like, no way, and I'd just avoid, my, uh, just avoid it. So, with that being said, the gameplay looks nice. Um, I hope the storyline's going to be a little bit different, shake things up. I know it's going to be like a Team Rocket, Team Galactic, uh, Team Plasma type thing where there's going to be some bad guys, but it the, the scenario and the scene are very refreshing. Um, it's like London, it's in, it, not directly in London, but it's in like England or something, and it's it's like the suburbs, and there's mountainous areas, and it just looks so pristine and nice in my opinion, so that's going to be really, really pretty to play in, um, and the outfits are cool, they're, they're unique, they're like nothing you've really ever seen before unless you played Pokemon Black, I believe it was, and you went to like the Paris city, I think, and, and you like dressed French, <laughs> like, you know, put on a, uh, put on one of the french caps and had like some more touristy clothing but this looks like it's like a really good setting um there was a picture i saw on the map at some point which looked really really awesome but i don't have that here with me no i don't have that on this article but it looked awesome so that's going to be something that i really want to go and just explore that whole area it's going to be awesome there's only one thing that I'm a little bit worried about, and that's what they're going to do with the Gen 8 Pokemon in general. I'm going to be real honest. I've been playing since Fire Red Leaf Green, and then I've gone back and I've played Emerald. I've played pretty much every Pokemon game um, ever since Fire Red Leaf Green. I guess ever since Emeralds, because I played the earlier ones too. I don't want... <laughs> it's hard to say this, but I really do like the original Pokemon, but of course you can't keep putting in the original Pokemon. I think after Gen 4, that's when things kind of went downhill. Gen 4 was iconic. I love Gen 4. It's probably my favorite generation. Favorite starters, favorite game, with a close second being Fire Red, and then Emerald. But I can't stress it enough. If these Pokemon look stupid, it's going to be really annoying. I like cool-looking Pokemon. I like unique looking Pokemon as well. Like I said it before, like these guys all kind of look similar in the sense where you could just mush features from each one and you'd be like, whatever. It's like they're trying to go simplistic in my in my opinion. Like they do add some some design features like the stripes and the shadowing, but in all in all, like you can't really beat the just the Pokemon and the simplistic designs that like Charmander and Bulbasaur and Squirtle had as starters. And of course, you can't just remake the same starters. It's not going to work. But I don't want to say they copped out here, and I don't want to say it was lazy. But I really hope for some really cool, unique-looking Pokemon that I'm really going to enjoy. Um, I did see some of the old faces in the game. Like, I saw a Tyranitar. Um, I, saw, I saw Tyranitar. I saw... I, I don't want to say the wrong names, but I know I saw Tyranitar. I did not see a Salamence. Hoping there's a Salamence in it. That'll just make the game that much better. But... I'm really hoping for a really awesome game, and I'm excited for that. And with that being said, I'm also excited for Detective Pikachu. I watched the second trailer recently. That's going to be a great movie. Eh? Um, a little skeptical at first, but I think it's going to be good. And I know this video will be coming out a day or two later than the official day, but I they officially deemed this day on February 27th National Pokemon Day. And that's because the first game came out in 1996 on this day. So happy National Pokemon Day to everybody. Um, please keep supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. I really do enjoy when I when I wake up and even after I post a video and I have maybe even 10, 15 just views. It just makes me happy to know that there's people that are watching the videos, even if it's some of my friends that I know in real life. But when I 
some of my first friends that watch them instantly they all give likes and it means a lot to me to just see that i'll get four views and four likes it just means a lot and when i get random comments it means that much more to see people that i'm not affiliated with outside of youtube that are coming in and finding my channel and leaving positive reviews and nice comments so please continue to keep commenting nice things subscribing and liking the video and share it if, if you want to but um, i really hope you guys do start to enjoy the content that i'm going to start putting out i hope to make it better quality content um with editing and stuff like that and after this video i'm there's still going to be a video on wednesday so don't worry about that but after this video we get into the first um Japanese GX Ultra Shiny, Ultra Shiny Booster Box, which I had some great pulls and some really awesome pulls, and I'm really excited to share that one with you. I've been waiting like a month, but I had to get these the first videos that I recorded out, and now I'm just waiting to get my pipeline videos out, and then I can start making videos and posting them in the same week, so I'm more up to date. That's why I wanted to make this video now and not wait to put it out four weeks from now when all my other videos are out. So thank you, Salaman Squad, and I hope you do enjoy the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next video on Wednesday.